Recently, a near total abortion ban from 1864 was reinstated in Arizona. And in Alabama, the site of that conversation with the governor just a year ago, hospitals were forced to pause IVF treatment. And while that IVF decision has received a lot of warranted attention, the fact that lawmakers there have even tried to make it a crime to facilitate out-of-state abortions has probably not received as much focus as it deserves. And Governor Newsom is still at it. Today, he's releasing a searing new ad that will air in Alabama as part of an effort to raise awareness about that extreme legislation. Now, in a big exclusive on this show, we're debuting that ad for the very first time. And I'll warn you, it's disturbing, but it's also important to watch. We're almost there. We're going to make it. Trump Republicans want to criminalize young Alabama women who travel for reproductive care. Miss, I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle, take a pregnancy test. Stop them by taking action at righttotravel.org. Campaign for Democracy Group is responsible for the content of this advertising. Joining me now from a Planned Parenthood clinic in Sacramento is California Governor Gavin Newsom. Governor, I so appreciate you taking the time. And I just wanted to start with this ad that I've watched many times. It's incredibly chilling. It just yeah. debuted. It's going to air in Alabama. And for people who are out there who just watch that and they think, that's an exaggeration. This isn't really going to happen. What do, what do you say to them? Well, I would say, look at what Idaho already did. I mean, thank God it's been enjoined uh, by the federal courts uh, under First and Fourth Amendment grounds, but it's a law that's in effect in Idaho. It's a law that is being advanced, not just in Alabama, but Tennessee and Oklahoma as we speak. So much attention uh, has been focused elsewhere. IVF, understandably, obviously focused uh, tactically on what just occurred uh, in Arizona as it relates to the 1864 law. Not enough attention has been placed on the fact that we're not just criminalizing uh, women's uh, access to reproductive care in certain states. Now we're criminalizing their travel. Which is so important for people to understand. People who are in states around California, like Arizona, who want to come to California, they're looking, this is a threat that people need to take seriously. I did want to talk about Arizona because for the second time in two weeks, Republicans in Arizona, even after they saw every all of the response, blocked an effort to repeal the abortion ban based on a law, again, back in, yeah. that was passed, passed in 1864. This time, there was video, which is pretty remarkable, of Republicans actually yeah. cheering on the floor of Sorry. the legislature. I mean, what was going through your mind when you watched that yeah. video? I, it, it sickens you. I mean, I, I've got two, two young daughters. Uh, you know, the fact that they're not gonna have the same rights that their mom and dad did, the same rights their parents have. I mean, the fact that we have in this country, and it goes back to the travel point, 160,000 women that had to leave their state, 160,000 women had to leave their states last year to access reproductive care. The fact that now you have AGs like the Alabama AG uh, that want to incarcerate up to five years to life, uh, those women that are aided and abetted, not just the women, but those that support the women uh, to get out of their respective states. The fact that uh, we now have a ban goes back to 1864 in the state of Arizona, and they're celebrating eight, 1864. I, I thought the Republican Party wanted to put a wrecking ball to the 21st century. Mm. Now they want to recreate the 19th century. So for me, it's chilling and goes well beyond just the issue of women's reproductive care. It goes to access to contraceptions, voting rights, civil rights, LGBTQ rights, this consequential moment uh, that should absorb most of our focus, uh, not some of the other tangential things that tend to get a little more focus at this precious and important moment in American history.